Are you wondering if you should archive your completed tasks or what to do with them? And maybe you need to access them later and not sure how to do that? Let me show you what I think you should do with your completed tasks within Monday.com. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. As you can see on this board, I have open tasks and I have completed tasks. Now, the question I get is what do you do with completed tasks? You don't necessarily want them on this board because it clogs up the board. And when you have hundreds and hundreds of tasks, it could potentially slow your board and you just don't need them there, but you want to be able to access them later. So I'm going to show you two different things that I think you should do before I start. I just want to take a minute to talk about the archive. I really think that this is an underdeveloped feature of monday.com. I personally find it very hard to find tasks within Monday once I archive them. So unless I know I will never need a task again, I don't like to archive tasks and I don't recommend it to my clients. So here's what I recommend. Number one is you can create a completed task board. So here I have my task board and only when this board is completely finished, I can click on these three dots and I can click duplicate board. And instead of calling it duplicated, I'll call it completed task board. And I don't need to obviously copy all the tasks and I'm going to duplicate it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have another board. That's the exact same structure as the first board. Obviously I don't need this group open tasks, so I'm going to delete it. And now I'm going to go back to my task board and I'm going to create an automation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send tasks when they're completed to the task board. So I'm going to click add automation and I'm going to say when status changes to something. So when my status changes to done, and then I'm going to search for move, move item to board. And I'm going to choose my board. Let's find it completed task board. And here, if I want, I can map my items. These usually come in exactly as they are. If the boards are not the same, then you may have to figure out some mapping, but since it's exactly the same, they're all good. I'm gonna hit done and I'm gonna hit create automation. So now let's do a quick test. So let's just say I have this task and I'll just assign it to myself. And I am going to, actually, I'm gonna add a project just so you can see that or a client. And I'm going to mark this as done. So what's going to happen instead of, oh, it may go to the completed tasks also because I didn't turn off that automation. It didn't even work. Okay. It is going to go to the completed task board. As you can see, when I open this board, I have everything here with all of my information. So number one is to create a completed board and just create the automation to move your completed tasks to that board. Option number two is to think about certain time periods that your company functions in and then maybe create boards around that. Like what I do is I have a task board for every year. So this board I would actually change to be called 2024 tasks. And then at the end of the year, I would just duplicate that task board. So I don't really care that I'll have a lot of tasks that are completed because I don't necessarily view them, especially if I use a view where I block those tasks, you know, that I, I can't see them, but then my board doesn't get so crowded. And at the end of the year, I'm going to another board. So I'm not worried over time that it's going to get really crowded or it may potentially going to be slow. And if I ever need to go back and look for another tasks, I, another task, I can just look in that board. So like this board, I would just change instead of completed. Um, I would just change this to say 2023 you know, let's say 2024, this one would be 2025 and so on. But you're constantly every year creating new task boards. You're just duplicating what you have. Again, I don't recommend archiving either create, do a completed task board and just make sure that your board is completed. So that way it's an exact copy because you want all the columns to match or number two, at the end of a certain time period, I would move to another board, just duplicate your current board. And then you have an archive like an archive of all of your completed tasks. Hope this helps. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.